things we need to do. First, let's import value attribute because that's how you inject data into fields dynamically. So for our Fahrenheit, for now, we'll just do the normal property. That's the Fahrenheit field value. And we'll do the same thing for Celsius, which is the model dot Celsius field value. And hit compile, go to our output. And so when we type in 32, we're good. We type in, what is it, negative 17 or whatever it is. Notice how we can't type anymore because the value is ignoring what we actually like type in the field. So if I try to type in, let's say one or cow, that's because we're not actually changing it ever. These model values up top are always there. And so we've got to update these to what the user is typing. So when we change this stuff, let's shrink this just a tad here. Notice how we aren't actually changing <laughs> these field values. So let's, let's change it. We'll add it right here. After we set the number, we'll see the field value. And now it's getting kind of long, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this out into multiple, uh, multiple tabs here. We need to set the field value to, to the user input. So what you type goes back in. So we can still show the value in the field, but for now it's what you type. So as I type, it actually goes back into the field. So if I hit compile and we try to do this in Fahrenheit now and I say 32, it works again. Um, but notice how I can't get it to an invalid state and that's because we don't update it on an invalid state. So we need to update it there too. So you can still be allowed to type in invalid stuff. We're just not gonna do any data transformation. We'll allow you to do it, but we're not gonna change anything. So when you compile and we fix my comma drama, comma drama, llama drama. Now I can type in 23, everything's good. But if I wanna type in the word cow, it's being valid, that's fine. We'll just ignore that, but still allow you to type that in. And the, we're gonna use this to actually format these temperatures a little better in the future. So let's do the exact same thing here with Celsius. And we'll say the Celsius is false. Celsius field value is the user input that whatever they typed, we'll shove it right back in. Get some commas for the Celsius. And we'll say the Celsius field value is the user input. So now you can do the same thing with both Fahrenheit, 32, typing cow, and you do the same thing with Fahrenheit or Celsius. They can go back and forth, doesn't matter. We now have the ability to dynamically inject that data in there, whether it works or not. And if it does work, we can convert the numbers. The next step will be updating the Celsius value when we type in Fahrenheit and vice versa.